What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here and in this video we've got some pretty interesting stuff to talk about and more info about the Blighted Chalice Strike and possibly who the boss will be and what the rewards will also be as well. So the Blighted Chalice Strike was announced as part of the Spring DLC or the April update as Bungie call it. If you missed my video with all the details about that Spring content drop, I'll link it in the description for you guys to watch. So the strike is called Blighted Chalice and that's what Bungie officially have told us, that's all we know so far. But a user on Reddit called Darkovian actually found some info in the Destiny database and that was about a month ago when he found this stuff and what he found was an activity called the Blighted Chalice which of course is the strike that we're now getting in the April update but he also found a description as well which is pretty interesting on top of that. So the description reads a Blight of Taken now roosts in the Hellmouth unchecked they could refocus the darkness within and descend on the city. So that is brand new info we didn't previously know about and thanks to Darkovian we now have a vague idea of what this strike is going to contain and from that we know the strike is going to take place somewhere in the Hellmouth which we know of course is on the moon and it's about a group of Taken trying to refocus the darkness and attack the city. Obviously Oryx is the Taken King or was the Taken King, he's now dead and he was the leader of the Taken, he created the Taken and now any remaining Taken seem to be lost without any leader to follow so maybe they're trying to work with the darkness to create a new leader and a new Taken King to actually lead them. Maybe they're trying to find the most powerful Hive still alive and make him into the new Taken King, that seems to be what's going on here. That's all pretty interesting stuff and that's the basics of what we know of the strike but what I found on Reddit was a post by a user called Durster14 who came up with a really really good theory that I wanted to share with you guys and I've got some extra things I want to add onto this theory and kind of round it off which I think makes it very very possible. So the theory essentially is that the boss in the Blighted Chalice Strike will be Malok. If you don't know who Malok is, it's a mysterious hive enemy you don't know much about. But you probably recognize his name from the weapon called the Grasp of Malok. And that's a really good pulse rifle that is a strike specific loot item from Omnigal that lots of people are after right now. It's a very good weapon. And there's also another piece of gear related to Malok. And that is one unused strike specific armor piece called the Hood of Malok, which is a helmet you don't currently have a way to obtain. Around the Taken King, it was supposed to be called the Helm of Crowlock, and it was supposed to be launching in the Taken King alongside all the other strike civic loot that launched and now drops from all these strike bosses. But this one item was held back and renamed to the Hood of Malok. Apparently, it was supposed to drop from Fogoth in his strike, but it never actually dropped, and Fogoth isn't even a year two strike, so it didn't really make too much sense what was going on. So looking at his helmet, we can tell that Malok, whoever he is, is definitely a Taken. It looks the same as the Skyburner's Annex or any Taken boss really that you see. Malok is definitely a Taken and we know this because every single bit of strike armor from a boss identically resembles that boss that it's from. So Darkblade's helmet is from Darkblade of course and we've got Mal's Maulers, we've got the Restorative Mind Gauntlets, we've got the Cloak of Tanix, and also the Cyan Flares Cloak and the rest of them, they're all directly from the boss that you kill to actually get the item. So we know this is what Malok's face looks like and this is what his head will definitely look like and he's also a Taken. So if you put things in summary, we've got the helmet of a Malok character which is clearly a Taken guy who haven't fought yet and also a Blighted Chalice Strike coming soon. We don't know the boss of but we know the enemies we're fighting are going to be Taken. So from that I'm definitely thinking that Malok is going to be the boss of the strike. Now I've got even further evidence that Malok is definitely a Taken creature because the new Grimoire cards that were found in the Hellmouth say there is a creature in the Hellmouth described as a thing, not quite dead but not quite alive which is exactly how you would describe a Taken creature and it was also described as it lays in a crater of its own making, dark and jagged. And again, dark and jagged is exactly how you would describe something that's Taken, the way they look. So I definitely think this creature in the Hellmouth, whatever it is, I think it is Malok and it seems to match the Taken Hive creature description. Now something else that is a strange coincidence is that the ghost shells that tell us those exact Grimoire cards about this Taken creature are actually in Fogoth's actual room and on the way to his room. There are three random ghost shells added to the December update to Destiny and those updated into Fogoth's room, that's where they are. And my guess is that Bungie added these actual ghost shells to the Fogoth room as a way to tease that he might be coming very, very soon. Another thing is the helm of Malok was supposed to be dropping from Fogoth himself, who of course is in the Hellmouth, the same place as his mysterious hive taken creature and the same place we fight a taken enemy in the Blighted Chalice Strike. So I think Malok is definitely in Fogoth's room running some kind of Taken together and that's where we'll fight him and that is why the helm of Malok didn't drop from Fogoth because it wasn't supposed to drop from Malok himself, it was supposed to drop in Fogoth's room or near it. I'm thinking you either go through Fogoth's room to find Malok or he's in Fogoth's room itself. There are just a load of coincidences which all seem connected to the Hellmouth. The fact that there are three new ghost shells found in Fogoth's room or up to his room in the Hellmouth, the fact that there's a Taken creature lurking around the Hellmouth and also there's Malok, clearly a Taken creature, there's a helmet that was supposed to drop also in the Hellmouth. 
It all seems to make sense loot wise as well because I can imagine this Maloc boss having a strike specific loot of his helm obviously first and also another way of getting his grasp of Maloc pulse rifle. Now another theory that I've been thinking of while I was collecting this info that I'm still not 100% sure on just yet but I figured I might as well tell you guys seeing as we're on the topic is that maybe Maloc is a taken version of Fogoth and that his new name is Maloc which would fit perfectly into the theory I just talked about and would also explain why he's in Fogoth's room. Maybe Bungie are making year two versions of all the year one strikes we haven't got yet and the Blighted Chalice strike is the name of Fogoth strike just takenified. Some further evidence that supports this are in those new Grimmar cards as well. The thing that was in the Hellmouth was also described as an ossified afterbirth and a pulsating tumour. An ossified afterbirth is how you would definitely describe an ogre because they're born from thralls, they're reborn, and especially a taken ogre because it's like they're being reborn again. And also a pulsating tumour is exactly the thing on Fogoth's belly, if you remember his weak spot, the thing you have to shoot on his belly, you would definitely describe that as a pulsating tumour. I know some people may think that we've killed Fogoth and that he's dead so he can't be brought back as taken, but loads of enemies we've killed before have actually come back as taken, like Tanix in the Black Spindle mission and the Soul Progeny in the new Valor Strike in the middle part where you normally fought the Goliath tank, and also it backs the Gravekeeper, who is that giant ogre you fight in Crota's Crystal Room. We kill him and then we see Oryx take him in front of us, and then later he comes back as a taken ogre called Vax the Hand of Oryx, even though we just killed him. So it's possible that Maloc is the taken Fogoth, but I'm not 100% sure on that, mainly because the helmet of Maloc doesn't really look like a Fogoth size, or especially the size of an ogre head. I think it's more likely that Maloc is his own special creature that we'll also face. So there are a lot of also theories going around about this Blighted Chalice Strike, involving Crota or his room because the only time we've seen a chalice mention has been in the Crota raid we used to regen our health. It sounds like the Taken have this chalice of light and they've blighted it which they tend to do a lot. So there it is, that is all the info and theories about this new strike and my speculation. Again, it is just my speculation, I could be wrong, but I do believe Maloc will be the boss in the strike. And I can't take all the credit for this theory, of course, like I mentioned. I saw bits of info from various Reddit posts, so shout out to Darkovian, Durster14, and Hawkmooner Matata for their Reddit posts as well. I'll link them in the description if you guys want to check them out. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think Maloc is the boss, or do you think something else? Drop a like rating on the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.